Today we are putting on more cameras on the John Deere 9500. And over here, we got this camera here, already unboxed it. And then a second camera. No need to read any of that. That's gone now. Uh, another camera, sunshade. Looks like I had some moisture in it because I was sitting in the shop and got rained on. So what happened to this one? It's like, let's see. Um, there's a wiring and antenna. So we're gonna put one of them up here on the grain tank, and then one on the auger. So we already got this bracket lined up up here. Got to drill some holes and then screw it down with factory hardware. This camera mounted up here, and I drilled a hole through the bottom for the wire, which runs this way down and over to the battery. Still got to cut the extra stuff off the zip ties. But now I'm working on the auger camera. I'm gonna mount it right by that light. Got my tools. Just gotta start mounting it, and I gotta hook it all up to the battery here in a little bit. I got this camera bolted on here, ran the wire to the battery, and then I bolted that camera way the hell out there and ran the wire in and around the wire for that light to there with a bunch of slack and then ran it here to the battery. Pain in the ass, but I got it. John Deere 9500 and I got the three cameras set up. The backup camera that I put on in the other video, we adjusted it down. You can just barely see the edge of the combine. So then you can see what is exactly below you. You can see the camera shadow right there. Then you hit select and you go to camera two, which takes a while to load in. This is our auger camera. So if I put the auger out, I'm just gonna move ahead and make sure I don't hit that power pull line. It'll go out. Now I've already tried this, but we adjusted it down. I'll back up closer to that wagon. I'm not really close enough to it, but you can see the point. You can see exactly in the wagon where from here you can't see inside. And what I want to do is add another camera and have a monitor in each 4450. And then when you're unloading on the go, you can see what the uh, combine driver sees. You can see right in and where the corn needs to be in the front or the back. So I think that'll work pretty good. So there's that one. I'll bring the auger in. Pull ahead. And then the final one, we have the grain tank camera. So when the corn or whatever you're harvesting gets built above the window, you can still see it fill up this, what we call the satellite dish. And sometimes up here, um, it says grain tank full, but you're not necessarily full. Uh, you can squeeze in a little more corn if you need to, if you're on the far side of the field. So that way we can uh, see when it gets full. And of course, if the camera, which maybe you can see up there, if that gets covered in corn, you know it's pretty well full. You get select, camera four, which I have nothing on there. We got the split view here. And I can change between, if I wanted to display camera one and two, one and three, and two and three, I can choose whatever I want. But right now I have camera one, which is the backup camera, camera three, which is the auger camera. And let's see. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Nothing. No wonder why nothing's happening. Backup camera. Auger camera. That's kind of a backup camera, but I'm not going to really use it that because you have this part hanging off and that part. But otherwise, when you uh, open it up, it works pretty good. Sometimes, maybe if you need to put it right here and unload, if you're in a tight spot where you can't see from here, you can only see it half ass in the mirror. You can unload right there because you know the wagon's right underneath you. Shut that. I like to leave the back of camera displayed because we're not really harvesting. And then put this thing in the shed. Oh 
shit. Okay. I thought I was hitting the throttle button, but instead I was hitting the auger button. Didn't want to open that up and take it off on a power line. Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> nah. Um, the heck was I going to say? I didn't really show much of installing the cameras because it's pretty easy. You just drill a hole, use the factory screws they give you, and then you just bolt it on. Pretty simple. I showed that in the last video in the one with the 4450. Did you? Yeah, I did. I didn't see it. <laughs> Maybe you should watch my video then. I should. <laughs> one thing I noticed, sometimes the view is a little jittery when you're underneath the power lines. I'm not sure why that is. But even if it is a little jittery, you can still see behind it. Right now, it's going pretty smooth. Otherwise, it works pretty good. Now we're making tracks get long. Oh, we planted corn in there. I literally mow corn or all summer long. <laughs> I'll catch you next time.